Um, <coughs> the shop hasn't grown bigger since last time, only smaller really. I've gotten in a pair of straight edges from a friend here um, to finish up for the class we have here, which he will use for his, I think his bridgeboard table and column and such. Uh, his table is not big enough, but mine is. So I've done this like that. This is a Richard King design. It's a lightweight structure, still rugged, of course. Um, <clears throat> I come to sort of uh, trying to finish up on the on the. On the rough scraping, it hinges okay now, but still has a section here that is not bearing completely. Let's go and have a closer look. Okay, put this on and on. I see it's okay, okay. Move on until we get to the area where we have a small discrepancy. It's creeping up good, so not to worry. And towards the end here we have developed a short, let's say a shortage over there. But all in all, quite good. So I think we can say we're couple of strokes from or a couple of cycles from finishing the roughing and if we go on here we can see the number the number of iterations I have performed so there are two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two for the basic and roughing. We'll be careful not to blow up my clothes. My wife would kill me then. Uh, uh, even comb my hair today, so it might be blue in the head. <laughs> um, this is another type where you have the dovetail. Both these are 48 uh, inch designs, and Richard also has I think 18 and 24 and 36. I think he has a couple of, of uh, shorter ones left. I would really, although I have a lot of other uh, designs, camelbacks and, and, and other types of straight edges, I would really recommend this. I can see the advantage. And uh, this is made by a pro, a long, uh, very experienced pro. So he, he knows how to, how to let's say, appreciate good tooling. And this must be like the Rolls Royce of designs, really. Okay, thank you. So this became my setup for scraping your straight edge. You may notice that it's just very simply made. Sometimes the simplest is the best. And then your straight edge will then hook on here, simply so, and lift it up there, plug another one on top, like that, and then simply fasten it with screws. Like that, and I think we'll do one debug clamp below here, something like that. Now I have plowed through with the circles, meaning that like that.
and I will stone. This is just just rusting, so it's a long way to go. So coming along quite okay. Just move you around like that, so you can have a glimpse. If you if you notice, I've shut off the the heater, so that there will be no warping because of the of uneven heating or the chances of that. Come again this way. After some iteration, I'll get the hang of it, I guess. I have to live with the cramped up shop, but... And what do we do? Yes. Always wipe off with your hands. It's uh, starting to hit uh, fairly consistent now, but it's it's creeping up from where it hits just on the corners, where it wobbles a little bit to where it comes also in here. 